Hello everybody, welcome back to Inspired Dishes. Today I will be making my homemade bacon mashed potatoes. Now here in the back you see my red potatoes. I have about what five or six of them. I'm gonna um peel those. Now in this pink cup I have my um milk that I'm gonna pour into it. Now I'm not gonna use the whole thing of milk, but just pour you some in there. Now, I also have my sharp cheddar cheese. I was pretty much thinking about should I put that in my potatoes, but I didn't really use that. So, I thought about, like, girl, you, you ain't making no uh, shepherd's pie. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't use it. So, now I have my minced garlic. I haven't been using garlic in a while because I haven't had the minced garlic and I didn't feel like, you know, cutting it up. So, yeah. So, I have my, my minced garlic. I have my, um, I think that's beef beyond cube. Also, I have onion and chives um what is this cream cheese now if you can't find this in your grocery store you can simply use the regular cream cheese and just add onion powder in your chives and um also i have my chives of course and then i also have my bacon so pretty much let's get started so now I have peeled my potatoes. Now you still might see a little bit of red spots, but that's pretty much okay. I didn't get all the peels, but that's quite all right. And also into the water, I added my um beef bouillon cube. So I'm pretty much going to use that to season up the potatoes while it's pretty much boiling. So now I'm going to add my um potatoes to the water and let it boil on like high heat for like 30 minutes and pretty much until it gets tender see how i'm doing it right now sticking the fork into the potatoes that's how you would know it's tender when you stick the fork in it and it doesn't seem as rough and hard and it falls apart a little bit then that's how you know it's ready now it got tender at the beginning like the, the, top, the tip of it the top of it but as you just stick in my fork into the middle it was still a little bit you know hard so i just let that boil for an additional few minutes until it got more tender and it was ready to be taken off okay now while the potatoes are boiling i'm gonna get started on my bacon now i took about three strips and i cut it in half because you know bacon is kind of long so i cut it in half and, you know, you don't want it to be too too much or too little. So, yeah, about three to four strips and cut it in half. So, I pretty much just got the bacon and I'm about to cook it. So, once both sides have cooked and browned up, I'm pretty much going to take the oil out. Now, please don't discard the oil. Y'all can save that for another recipe. Usually, when I'm making, like, you know, eggs or something, I'll keep it and I'll cook my eggs in the bacon grease or something. So, Please don't discard that. Now, the first batch, I think I accidentally discarded. <laughs> but, yeah, please don't discard that. Y'all can put that up and say that and you said, <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much just make sure, you know, it's, you know, crispy enough and just drain the oil out. Now, you can let the rest of the bacon drain on the paper towel and just sit it to the side. Now, I have my potatoes. I don't pretty much dumped out the water because, you know, it just meant for you to boil it. So, now, you can take a back of a fork or either if you have a potato masher, but you can just use the back of a fork and pretty much just, you know, like I'm doing right now, just go ahead and smush all of it down because you want to make mashed potatoes and me i like mine a little chunky so i'm not going to you know make it all the way you know smush because i'm not making um potato um soup <laughs> you feel me so yeah i'm just gonna pretty much just keep mashing okay now i don't mash the, all my potatoes so now i'm about to add my garlic yes yeah <laughs> my minced garlic now i added about two spoonfuls well i'm gonna just say forkfuls yeah forkfuls or maybe i just put one fork spoon <laughs> it don't matter it's up to you your preference if you love garlic then just add, go ahead and add an extra one if you don't then just go ahead and just put the one so now i'm gonna um add my salt that's about um one teaspoon now, a little later, you're going to see I'm going to add some more salt because I want it, you know, a little bit more flavor. So, yeah, let's pretty much do that and then stir. I'm stirring it all around to incorporate the salt and the um garlic.
Now I don't did a taste test and it tasted good, but of course I needed to add a little bit more salt again. So here I am because that little teaspoon, it wasn't working. So yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to shake some over. So it's probably another teaspoon. So yeah, just pretty much just go ahead and add you some more salt up to your, you know, your liking. And then just go ahead and stir that in as well. Now, I know I don't see it early. Here's the good part. But yeah, here is the good part again. <laughs> now I'm about to add my um cream cheese, y'all. Yes, my onion and chives cream cheese. So I think I added about two um spoonfuls of that. So pretty much just go ahead and um put that into your potatoes and mix it around. Now I think yeah, I think later on, I don't even know if I got it on camera, but yeah, I went ahead and added some more, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I added another spoonful. So, yeah, it's up to your liking. So, just go ahead, you know. Now, I'm about to also add in my milk. Now, you don't want to put too much milk because you don't want it too mushy. Like I said before, we're not making mashed potato soup. Yeah, <laughs> so don't make it too mushy. So, just put a little bit of milk. But if you do want it a little bit more soupier, then go ahead and add you some more milk. But um, the, the less you can you you put in there, you can always go ahead and add some more. But if you put too much, then you can't take it away. So yeah, and you gonna have to make some more mashed potatoes. And yeah, I know you don't want to do all that. So yeah, just be careful. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. And just go ahead and mix all of that together. Okay, so here is where I'm going to add, yeah, my extra cream cheese, <laughs> like I told you before. So, yeah, it's a total of three, and it's up to you. If you want more, if you want less, it's up to you. Now, I didn't show y'all in the beginning of the video because I didn't know myself. <laughs> I just figured out, but yeah, I would like to um add my spicy girl. I will be adding my spicy girl now. I put about I really didn't do no measurement, but it's probably like um two teaspoons. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, I just put that in there and just pretty much just go ahead and mix it around. All right, so now down to the wire. I'm about to add my bacon. Yeah, you're my bacon. So I pretty much just crumbled up. Crumble that up into like you know small pieces, um, on another plate. Now I'm about to add it into my um potatoes. Here it is right here. So yeah, I already have it crushed up, and I'm pretty much just gonna put it inside the potatoes and then mix it all around. Now I should have added like um you know um a little bit of butter when I was finished, which I did not add. But um you can go ahead and add butter to yours you know if you were like but i didn't add butter to mine see i'm trying to eat even though i still eat a little bit unhealthy at times but i try to eat all the way unhealthy you feel me <laughs> so yeah i don't have butter in mine but you know you can go ahead and add that butter if you want to so once that bacon has pretty much sat in there and you stirred it all around now i'm going to add my chives <laughs> yes you heard right y'all my chives don't forget it's onion and chives so yeah i already add my cream cheese so now i'm gonna add my chives so yeah that's what i'm doing right now sprinkling on then also you know you want that pretty color that pop of green so yeah that's perfect so i added my chives and i'm gonna add a little bit also um for the finishing product, product when i put it into my plate when i plate it so yeah i'm just going ahead and mix it all around and I'm pretty much done right here. Now, all I got to do is just plate it. <laughs> 